Hi everyone, my name is Suri and I would like to share something with you today. I noticed that my body has been changing lately and it's all been quite confusing for me. My chest seems to have gotten bigger. There is hair between my legs and I woke up one morning and found that there was blood on my bed. I was a little bit scared and asked my mummy what was going on. Suri, don't worry. Everything that's happening to you is something every girl experiences. All this just means that you're on your way to becoming a woman. When you see blood coming out of you, it means that you're having your menstruation or your period. Why does this happen, mummy? The reason why you have your period is because your ovaries are waking up. Girls and women have two ovaries, and each of the ovaries hold thousands of eggs, which are really tiny, nothing bigger than the size of a pinhead. During the menstrual cycle, an egg is released from one of the ovaries and begins a trip down the fallopian tube to the uterus, which is also called the womb. If the egg is unfertilized, the unfertilized egg and the lining from the uterus leave the body and therefore the girl has her period. Mummy, what happens when I get my period? Is it just blood that I will see? Well, Suri, as your body is changing, you won't just see blood. Sometimes you'll feel tired and you might also feel some pain in your breasts. You might also experience menstrual cramps, which will feel like pain in your tummy. All of this is normal when a girl is having her period. Mummy, how long will my period last? You will typically get it once a month, and it will last between three to seven days. The intervals between each period is usually 21 to 45 days, typically 28. What do I do and how can I take care of myself when I'm having my period? As a woman, it is always important to maintain good hygiene, especially during your periods. This is because bacteria can go into the vagina and women who do not take care of their hygiene will be very prone to infections. Let's look at how we can keep ourselves clean. First, we have to keep the external area of the vagina clean. That means washing from front to back with water and mild soap regularly. This is not only good hygiene, but it may prevent you from getting a urinary tract infection. Drinking plenty of water helps your body stay healthier too. Secondly, when you're having your period, you need to wear a sanitary pad because it will soak up the blood that leaves the vagina and it is hygienic as each pad is individually wrapped and it is not reusable. Now, let's see how to wear a sanitary pad. Make sure that the individual packaging is removed and unfold the pad. Peel off the layers to reveal the sticky strips. Next, you should press down the pad with the sticky side on the bottom in the liner of your underwear. Remember to change your pad before it is soaked up with blood or change it at least two to three times a day. Also, remember to wash your hands before and after use of your sanitary pads. One more thing to remember is never stuff a sanitary pad down the toilet. Wrap it up and dispose it together with all other trash. Mummy, I've heard some of my friends say that when I have my period, it means my body is getting rid of bad blood. Is that true? This is not true at all, Suri. Having your menstruation is a precious thing. This means that a woman, when she is ready, is able to have children and to nurture the next generation. You should be proud that you're becoming a woman and never feel shameful about having your period. Okay, Mummy. Thank you for explaining this to me. I feel much better now. And sorry, don't ever be afraid if you need to ask any more questions. Okay, Mummy. I will. Thank you for listening to my story, everyone. And I hope this helps you understand your body better.